So you have augmentation from dopamine agonist medications for restless leg syndrome. How do you taper off dopamine agonists effectively? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and let's spend a few minutes talking about how an individual can try to taper off these dopamine agonists and lead to reversal of the severe augmentation symptoms. As I've talked about elsewhere, augmentation is the worsening of restless leg syndrome due to changes of the dopamine system from taking dopamine medications either at high doses or for a long period of time, months or years. These medications include ropinirol, pramipexol, rotigotine patch, or even levodopa, which is dopamine itself. These are the generic names of these dopamine drugs. Over time, the condition gets worse. You need to taper off the drug. Much of the condition may reverse in the brain once you go off the drug. The problem is people who have augmentation may be chemically dependent on the medication. So the medication is providing some relief, and if you pull away that drug, the brain has nothing left and goes through a state of withdrawal from these medications. So I advocate long and slow tapering of these medications, as do most restless legs experts. Some do argue for a rapid taper over, say, two weeks, but this really leads to very, very severe restless leg syndrome symptoms and withdrawal symptoms, and potentially a dopamine agonist withdrawal syndrome that includes some serious mental health concerns pulling away that dopamine from the brain. So with the long and slow approach, you start at your current dose, and every one to two weeks or so, a, a person can taper a very small amount. So for example, pramipexol can be tapered at 0.125 milligrams per week. Ropinirol can be tapered at 0.5 or 1 milligram per week. The brain will go through some state of withdrawal. So over the next four to seven days or so, the symptoms may get worse. That's the withdrawal that you want. You want the brain to get used to not having the medication. And then after several more days, the brain returns back to the baseline before the individual started. Unfortunately, sometimes this can be very difficult for patients to tolerate due to the, just the severity of their restless leg symptoms, and sometimes they need another treatment added. But this will continue on. And if a person's on more than one dose of the medication, like an evening dose and a nighttime dose, or an afternoon dose and a nighttime dose, generally because restless leg syndrome is a nighttime condition, originally, maybe not with augmentation, an individual should taper the afternoon or earlier in the day dose first and do it proportionally. So maybe 0.125 in the afternoon and then another 0.125 decrease in the evening and do that every one to two weeks with a withdrawal and then a recovery, withdrawal and recovery. It doesn't work perfectly. Every person is a little bit different and other medications may be needed to relieve those symptoms to get all the way off the drug. But once people are all the way off the drug, they tend to get significantly better. Sometimes they get better even in the midst of the withdrawal process as they get to a lower and lower dose, that augmentation will improve and the restless leg syndrome symptoms approach the baseline. But not everyone gets back to 100% of where they were before they started on the dopamine medication, which is why these medications, in my view, should not be used for restless leg syndrome, and most restless leg specialists do not advocate for their use except for in rare circumstances because of this inevitable augmentation and the chemical dependence. So this is not a drug you can just stop and, and start a different drug the next day. There is a withdrawal process, and doing it slowly and over a long period of time is currently the most recommended way. As always, this is for general information only. Any medical decisions regarding your health should be made under the supervision of a knowledgeable and licensed medical professional.